to our fourth module. So uh, till now we have finished off with ecosystem, uh, the biogeochemical cycles and biodiversity and conservation with it. Three of our modules have uh, finished. Now the next uh, topic is with regard to biomes, okay. So uh, coming to biomes, you need to know what is biomes, like uh, what is the basic concept of biome, what do you mean by biome, the types and classifications of biomes or so what factors different biomes are formed. All these things, all these basic concepts you should keep in mind, okay. So coming to biomes, see, um, when we uh, study about different classifications of biomes, we need to know uh, like uh, first is the, yes, classifications. What all are the different classifications when we study biomes? Like we have got different biomes like forest, grasslands, tundra, then desert, aquatic biomes, all these are different or generally we can say there are terrestrial biomes and aquatic biomes, right. So you need to know what all are the classifications under terrestrial biomes like forest, grasslands, tundra, desert, all these are coming under forest, um, terrestrial biomes. Then we have got aquatic biomes, what all are the different classifications coming under aquatic biomes, all these things you need to know. Then within these uh, specific type of biomes itself, like forest you have got further subdivisions like the types of forest, like you have got tropical forest, temperate forest, taiga, these are the broad three divisions coming under forest itself. Then you have got different types of grassland, mainly the tropical grassland or savanna and the temperate grasslands, okay. Then you have got different types of deserts, classifications coming under desert as well as the classification coming under aquatic biomes, like the aquatic biomes they have been classified into different types depending upon the salinity uh, like freshwater biomes then you have the marine water biomes the brackish water biomes so these are all different types of biomes okay so you need to know which all are the classifications coming under uh, this particular head of biomes and what all are their characteristics okay so when studying characteristics keep in mind you need to know Specifically about the precipitation or the rainfall received in that particular bio, the soil type, the soil type, if we can say climate, what is the peculiar feature of climate uh, present in that particular bio, then you need to know about the dominant fauna and flora basically we can say the uh, like previous year questions they have asked about the characteristic features of uh, the plants and the trees dominant tree species present in all these biomes okay so in such a manner you have to uh, go through all these biomes now coming to the topic see what is biome basically what do you mean by biome what do you mean by bio? See, bio is generally or um, simply in simple terms we can say biomes are collections of ecosystem. Okay, we know what is ecosystem. We have seen the basic concept of ecosystem in our first module. So there we have uh, seen in detail what is the basic concept of ecosystem. So when ecosystems are collected together, we can say a biome is formed. Okay, a collection of ecosystem is what is a biome so in simple terms okay so biomes we can say they are large ecological areas or regions which is characterized by a specific climate soil type and vegetation and there are certain dominant animal and plant species that you can find typically in that particular biome okay so a biome is specifically we can say it is a large ecological area or a region which is characterized by its own peculiar climate, soil type or topography, vegetation, the dominant plant and animal species present in that particular area, all these collectively forms that particular biome, okay. So a biome we can say it is a collection of ecosystem which is characterized by a specific climate. In very simple terms we can say biome as such, right. Now 
the climate and the geography of a region determines what type of biome can exist in that particular area. We have seen that in the basic definition, we have seen biome is nothing but it is a large ecological area or a region. So, a large ecological area or a region can consist of different ecosystem, right? That is why we are saying it is a collection of ecosystem, okay? So, this large ecological area or region that can have a specific type of climate and geography. So, basically we can say that the climate and geography of a particular region are the main two factors which determines the type of biome that is present in that particular area. So, climate and geography are the two important or dominant factors which determines the type of biome that is present in one particular area or region. Now, major types of biomes as we have seen there are major types of biomes. So, broadly we can classify biomes into two main categories that is the terrestrial biomes and the aquatic biomes, okay. So, terrestrial biomes within terrestrial biomes we have forest, grassland, tundra, then we have desert and then the aquatic biomes which is further classified into freshwater, marine as well as brackish water, right. Now, the forest within the terrestrial biomes we have forest and within the forest biome there are certain subdivisions for forest or the classification of the types of forest like there are tropical forest, temperate forest or taiga. The three broad subdivisions coming under forest are tropical, temperate and taiga, okay. Then we have gra grasslands, grasslands is another example for terrestrial biome and grassland is further subdivided into two, tropical and temperate. Tropical is the uh, savanna and temperate grasslands, different types of uh, te temperate grasslands as we move from one region to one place to another, it is called by different names. We will see that when we are dealing with grasslands. Then the aquatic biome which is again subdivided into freshwater, marine and brackish water depending upon the salinity or the amount of salt present in that particular <coughs> water source, right. So that is what is basic concept of biome and the classification of biomes. So first in this uh, session we will see what all are the uh, terrestrial biomes and its classification, its characteristic features, the climatic types, the uh, nature of the soil, uh, the nutrients present in the soil, all these things we will see with regard to the terrestrial biomes. So, coming to terrestrial biomes, yes, the first terrestrial biomes that we are going to see is forest. Now, see, we know forest, it constitutes about one third of the land area of earth and forest biomes are classified according to the uh, the vegetation, the climatic type and the latitude, okay, the latitude where this forest is present depending upon all these factors that is climate, vegetation as well as latitude. We have classified forest into mainly, yes, we have classified forest into mainly certain types, okay. So, here three major types of forest have been classified based upon their vegetation, climate and latitude. Yes, one is tropical forest, the other one is temperate forest and the third one is taiga or boreal forest, okay. So, temperature, ground moisture, ground moisture means, yes, the moisture which is available to the soil or the ground mainly through precipitation, okay. So, it actually, ground moisture refers to the amount of rainfall that is being received by that particular biome, okay. So, temperature, the precipitation, soil type, Topography, all these are responsible for the establishment of forest communities and their distribution all over the world. Now, there are three major types of forest classified according to the distributional uh, patterns of plants or climate or latitude as we have seen. They have been divided into tropical, temperate and taiga. So, first we will be seeing under forest, the first type which is, yes, tropical forest, tropical forest. See, tropical forest as the name suggests, these forests are present in the tropical region or it is found near the equator. That is why it is known as tropical forest. Okay, it is found in the tropical region or near the equator. That is why we call it as tropical forest. Now, 
they occur near the equator that is specifically we can say they occur near the equator we can specifically say it is occurring in the tropical region that is within the area which is bounded by latitudes 23 and a half degree north as well as 23 and a half degree south right so there, that is the region which is um, we call as the tropical region right the 23 and half degree north as well as 23 and half degree south that is the region between the tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn that is what we call as the tropical region 